Okay, so we might as well go to this woman. To this cyborg. Yo, this game kind of looks like papers, please. That's exactly what I said. But it it's it's holding up. It's it's like I think these people were like, yo, let's make papers, please. But then make it like um instead of like Soviet themed, we'll just make it um how do you call this? Nine a nineteen eighty four or what's that other one called? Brave New World? Cyberpunk. Yeah, dystopian. Exactly. Mm-hmm. And it kind of slaps, in my opinion. Greetings. Are you interested in a pamphlet? It's a light read. I have them somewhere. Okay, let's be nice. Christine hands you a pamphlet. It's a color. It's colorful cover. Head reads, Cyborgs are human too. A day-to-day -to -day guide to human-cyborg relations. No. She doesn't she like realize the flaw in what she's saying? Cyber cyborgs are humans too. And then humans human cyborg relations. You then by talking about human cyborg relations that means that cyborgs aren't human because otherwise it would be they would be on the side of the humans, right? Oh, it took time off. Oh my gosh, I didn't even realize that. The first page reads, they might be your neighbor, your vid screen, repairman, or even your lover. Cyborg live in peace and all around us, yet many people are still afraid of them. I'm here to scan you. Well, that makes me a little nervous, gotta say, but okay, I guess. Okay, mind scan. The electric noodle robotic waiter is probably trashed by now, but when I was a kid I used to look at it and think how satisfied it looked with its existence. Values mech life. Yeah. And <laughs> dreams of being a waiter. Yo, isn't that kind of like the test from Blade Runner? Uh, which one? I don't know, I, I've never watched Blade Runner. Human hair on the floor of my lousy job. I help my parents out at the hair salon. But what's the point? It all just grows out again anyway. Disgusted, I'm guessing. Our micro... Our microbots. What beauties. They can crawl through even the tiniest cracks. If people are sleeping, they'll never know they've become part machine. That's scary as heck. All means necessary. Robo pets. Dreams of electric sheep. There's a test that detectives give to people to find out if they're robots or not. Oh, this is more like checking if they are sane or not. This is someone who's had like body modifications. Christine has developed an inexplicable hate for humankind and believes she must advance every citizen to a cyborg state by any means necessary. Sorry, but that one is out of pocket. But I don't think I have enough time to heal her. She real bad. Yeah. What? No! Did someone tell you to do this? This is unbelievable. I guess they can't handle my message of love and understanding. <laughs> She's like, they don't understand love and understanding. Eradicate all humans. <laughs> okay, go off, sis. <laughs> You're breaking this mechanical heart. By any means <laughs> necessary. <laughs> exactly oh my gosh um but we have to end the day because we have literally like 15 minutes 15 seconds we're never gonna be able to do that i may have to end this day yeah eradicate with love 
I need to sleep. I wonder how long this demo is gonna take because it feels like it's not gonna take much longer. Which makes me a bit sad. But I'm definitely copying this one for sure. Oh wait, did I just... This game is kind of neat, for sure. Greetings. Mind scanners have recently been contacted by the terrorist group known as Moonrise. These people seek to destroy our society and must be stopped. We got contacted. Have they contacted you? Um, <laughs> no. <laughs> hmm. Okay, if you receive a message from them or any suspicious messages, you are obliged to tell us. We will make sure to protect you from normality and the mind, the structure. This is so scary. What happens if you side with the robot? Honestly, no idea. Let's start your treatment, Christine. Can I ask you a personal question? Do you have any technology in your system enhancing or otherwise? I don't even get an option. It's like, none of your damn business, Christine. She looks so weird. Like, I love the facial expressions here. All right, sure, of course. It's everyone's, right? Yeah. Now shut up and let me treat you. <laughs> okay. Um, I'll do this one. Christine, just don't worry about it. What? W what the heck? Why isn't it working? Shoot. Okay. Forget it. We're doing this one. How does this work? What? I really am so... On the long... Oh! Oh! Thank you so much, Golan Goofy. Whoa, oh, shoot! Shoot, wrong! I am messing this up so hard. Why is it... Christine? Got stress, treatment must end. I don't even know how the heck that works. Ah, too much. This is a disgrace. Using machines to treat us like this? I've had enough. Christine pulls the device off and throws it on the ground, damaging it. No. You spend the rest of your day repairing your device. The games gives me portal vibes. I haven't even... I don't know about portal. Sorry, I'm a bit distraught. Um, <laughs> you have a heart, don't you? You won't kill me. <laughs> we nearly killed her, I guess. She, she definitely looks stressed, for sure. Greetings, mind scanner. Good job. You removed all insanity within the sector of the structure. That's not true. This is the end of the demo. We look forward to your return in the full game, which is available for wishlisting on Steam right now. For normality and the mind, the structure. Damn, that was a good game. That was a real good game. Yeah. 
I want to play more now.